So, Flex Layout feature was released a few weeks ago. Since then, we have been working hard to improve it and create new functionalities around it. In case you don't know, Flex Layout allows you to automatically resize, fit, and fill your designs. It's very useful, so you can reorder elements inside the group with Flex Layout, used by swapping their places and set the right gap, alignment, distribution, and many more. Today, we're going to review the new position absolute functionality around Flex Layout and see how it works. Let's go after it. Here we have the first example, which is a, a tooltip. Uh, here I have a board with Flex Layout activated and uh, I want to add this uh, kind of arrow. So I'm going to add this square to the layout and as you can see, it is positioned following the flex behavior, okay? But I need it to position in absolute in order to put it in the bottom, okay? So I select it and go here, click on position absolute, and as you can see now I can move it around and it's already been part, it's still been part of the same tooltip, okay? As you can see here, the absolute element is highlighted with this line pattern so now I'm going to center the element and move it here and fill with the same color okay as you can see if you choose the position absolute uh, constraints will be available okay so I'm going to choose bottom center and now the tooltip grows maintaining the, the position of the absolute element. Okay, so for the next example, I have this overlay flex board, okay? Uh, it will be available, slide in in the screen. When I click here, in this button, I have here the, the prototype, but I need to close it, okay? For that, I create this UI element, uh, cancel uh, button but I need to be part of the same overlay board, okay? So, as you can see, the board has the flex layout activated. I'm going to add it, okay? So it's following the direction column, etc. But I need it to be part of the element, but with position absolute, okay? So I click it, as you can see, the plus icon is now following the position absolute, okay? So I'm going to move it here and outside the board. As you can see, it's already be part of the overlay. So I'm going to set the constraints properly. And now I'm going to the prototype and select that clicking in this element. I need to close overlay. Okay. Destination slide down. Okay, so let's check if it works. I'm going to click here, the overlay Years, and now clicking on the position absolute cancel button, it disappeared. We are working hard on improving the functionality that Penpot offers. It is also important to improve the quality of Penpot with new features. That's why we are always listening to the comments and feedback that the users make us. So we invite you to visit the Penpot community space to comment on your impressions and needs. You have the link in the description below. Your feedback is more than welcome. Please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned on the latest news. See you soon.